um, hi everyone. <laughs> I have a little bit of a nice cold summer today because my dad was here and I was with my dad today. So anyway, um, it's Saturday and usually I grew up with Saturdays like the day you can eat candy. Well, I eat candy mostly, almost every day and I'm still skinny for some reason. Um, <laughs> and I decided to just eat this thing that they started selling in the shop again. Now, before I show you what it is, this thing, as long as I've lived here in this city for three years now, well, you have seen different kinds of background, but I'm still in the same city. It's not really a city, it's a village. It literally says that when you drive into into this place, it says on the sign, Welcome to the little village, Flisa, because that's what it's named. It doesn't even have a place on the map, so... Wow. Anyway, so... At first, I think the, f the few first videos I have on my channel is in the living room downstairs in my mom's apartment where I was living, and then it was my bedroom because the living room was uh, destroyed by water. Yeah, it was a lot of rain and when the snow came, when the snow started melting, it water just flowed out uh, through the walls and all. In the, in the living room downstairs, so the other videos is in my bedroom at my mom's apartment, and then now it's here. But uh, when I ate this, I was about 10 to 12 years old, let's say 12 years old, just to call this video 10 years later. Um, I remember I ate these candy, candy things, I'm gonna show you, just wait. I remember eating this as a young kid, a 12 year old, 12 year old. It's, a, it's, it's young kid. Uh, but then after that, I always thought this was too childish. And that was a good thing, because now it's 10 years later, and now I'm gonna eat them. Because it's a good title when you put 10 years later in it, right? So, um, and they haven't sold these things before now, recently. So, hey, it's a good thing. Let me open it and I can show you what it is. It's this thing. This is a lollipop with powder and it has the ras blue raspberry and black currant taste. It doesn't say blue raspberry, it just says raspberry, but it's blue. The flag there is blue and black currant is purple, because it's kind of pink purplish. And the powder is pink. So, um, yeah. These things were actually pretty good, and they're probably still good. I haven't tasted it in a while. So let's taste it. It's hard to open it, because I'm trying to op only open this, and if I, if I did this, this way, I only open this. Only open the powders. So wait a second. Try to open this without, without, um, without destroying the lollipop. There we go. It's a lollipop. And I remember someone, uh, when I was 12 years old, they were like, "You you eat those things now? You're 12 years old. Well, it's good." But before you say anything, no, this is not like sucking on a dick. Just remember that. This is like sucking on a tip. <laughs> no, it's not that either. But it's, it's a lollipop. Well, more like a pacifier. But it is supposed to be those, um, those drinking stuff that the baby drinks. But it doesn't come anything out. It's just a lollipop. But... The powder, what you're supposed to do, is do this. Ta -da. It's filled with powder now. Mm. And it's pretty good, but I feel like when you put it on a lollipop, it never goes away. Not even sucking on it. 
So what I usually do is that I eat this first, and all this powder that is left, that is lots of powder. Like if you buy this yourself, you will be shocked on how much it is. It doesn't look that much. But this is much. So what I usually do is that I eat the lollipop first, and then I do the powder. I can show you as soon as I can bite this. I got a little bit. Oh, there we go. A little bit of the top. Yeah. It is good though. Blue raspberry. This is blue raspberry. That's like blue raspberry too. <laughs> this is actually the second time I eat a lollipop today. Cause we have a pizza place here that my dad and I bought pizza. And we took it to my mom, and we ate there. So my little brother got some pizza, my little brother's friend was there, he ate some pizza. And drank some soda. There's a lot of birds outside. There's always a lot of bird that flies on the big tree there. They just fly back and forth and just make a big circle around it. It looks like it's about to be like, if you have seen Harry Potter, or no. The second Hunger Games movie is a great example. Because when the lightning is supposed to hit the big tree, it makes like a big circle of, uh, of clouds, you know, when it makes a circle and it goes down. Turning like, kind of turning into a tornado. That is kind of how it is like in that tree over there. Because sometimes the birds just fly around and it makes like a big, it looks like it's going to make a big tornado. So cool. But yeah, the lollipop. There was a hot lollipop at the pizza place where you could take when you're waiting for the food. We took one and it was good. Red Heart Lollipop. This was like a tit, but... <laughs> so now this is empty. Now I just have the powder and I, I, I used to just put it in my mouth. And I wouldn't say it's the best thing, but it is kind of good, still. But I don't take everything in one, because when you take in, everything in one, it's kind of like the cinnamon challenge. You start to cough it all up, it's just going to be a big mess. So that's why I don't take everything at once, I just take a little and a little bit. It's good though. But... There, is it consi is consistent? <laughs> it's, it's, it's called? Like, consistent? Con consist? Consist? I don't know. But the feeling of it, it's kind of weird. That's why I make these uh, weird faces. It's not that I don't like it, it's very good. It's just that it's the, the feeling of having a powder that tastes good is a little bit weird. It's just like, I have tasted this taste before, but not in powder. I have tasted this taste 
like a lollipop or like everything else but not. Um, not powder. So it's kind of weird, but. So this is what, what I used to do. Ten years ago. It's good. I love it. <coughs> an example, Paul. On uh, that was ex uh, it was an example on what to do and what might happen if you if you take too much. But I am uh, very enjoy it. There might be other people out there that might think that Nah, I like this better on the lollipop or I eat this before the lollipop Whatever dude, it's it's um, It's opinions. I, I think taking this the last by itself. It's the best But yeah, it's still a lot of powder That was a big chunk, actually. A big chunk of powder was there. You know, when you bite into a big chunk, it just explodes in your mouth. That sounds weird. Mm. Now that's done. Yep, I'm done. So this thing is called Big Baby Pop. Big, uh, wait. Big Baby Pop. It's different tastes, but I think took this one because uh, I love blue raspberry. And, uh, woo! Anyway, thank you. Kitty, don't scratch my couch. Thank you. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. It was uh, me tasting Big Baby Pop. Ten years later. It was supposed to be candy for the really young ones. But they didn't sell this before like I was 12. I don't know. They might have sold this before, but my mom never bought me it before I was 12 because my little brother wanted it and he was then 7, so I mean Me and my brother kind of got the same candy uh, every Saturday when we were younger My brother got something and I got it later Hi kitty, you wanna cuddle now? So that's why I got this when I was 12 For the first time so anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will be seeing you in the next video, pro probably, hopefully, live stream tonight. It depends though, because this video might come out after the live stream, because I'm already posting something. <sighs> so, yeah. But yeah, Big Baby Pop. Big Baby Pop, 10 years later. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.